the first SQ flight I remember for sure was to Honolulu, uh, which was just after I came out of the army. I was on holiday visiting my sister, and that was a jumbo flight actually. The jumbo had been very new at that time, so my father was very keen to, to be among the first Singaporeans to fly, so he, we went out of our way to fly that flight. I can remember sitting in the cabin, I'm pretty sure we were right in the middle, so we all sat together in the middle, and slightly ahead of us was this spiral staircase going up to the upper deck. So of course, as a young child, I was very curious to explore, and they didn't stop me from going up. So that was a lot of fun to, to have uh, upstairs in an aircraft for the first time. One that my wife and I remember very well is our honeymoon, because we went to Maldives, and uh, we sat on the upper deck, which was very cosy. I think in those days, business class was upstairs. It was really cosy. And why we remember it well is because Maldives Airport, of course, didn't have aero bridges or things like that. So there's a photo of us posing outside the jumbo with one of the crew. I think we posed on the steps going up with, with the crew, and someone took the photo for us. So, of course, that's a shot we remember very well. For me, um, boarding SI has always been like I'm home as soon as I get through the aero bridge rather than when I land at Changi straight away the crew, the newspaper, the familiarity of it all. So when you travel a lot, nothing beats arriving home 12 hours earlier than the aircraft. I think that's really fantastic for me. My favourite seat was 1B because if I've had a long day at work and you know most of the flights home from Europe or even from Narita are at night, so you've already had your long day and if you're coming home from Europe you probably transited somewhere to get on the flight in London and you'd be really, or oh, I was so bone tired getting on board and I would get to the seat I don't have to see anybody at all. I would straight away know my blanket is in the little cupboard, I would wrap extra pillows, I would make myself really at home and that's it. I could chill, I could read my Straits Times, have my favourite wine and I don't need to see anybody. I've been talking to everyone all week, I've been working, I've been thinking all the time and all that stopped the moment I came to 1B. I love that seat. One time I came home from Chennai, it was that red-eye midnight flight. So I get on the aircraft and the crew says to me, oh Mr Malwani, your chamomile tea with honey is waiting for you. They knew it straight away. I mean, on board I drink tea a lot and I drink tea with honey and obviously some of them remember me. But just that doubling that feeling of being out of that crazy airport and he knew that, you know, before the champagne chamomile tea was better to calm me down. It was perfect. I mean, that was really nice. And in fact, I quote that story to a lot of my own business uh, people about good service. That just remembering a small thing about a customer makes all the difference in the world. So I had gone to bed. When I woke up in the morning, my laces were all neatly tied and the shoe was so neatly placed as opposed to how I just dumped them. And I felt very bad because I told the crew, you shouldn't be touching my shoes, you know. And they said, no, 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 it's, it's, it's nothing. But I thought that was also very, very detailed service, um, going out of the way to do something extra, which I assure you, no other airline in the world, their crew would touch your shoe. I used to read back copies of Straits Times regularly before I got the iPad version. So. But at that time, as soon as I got on board, and one of the IFS remembered, so even before I got to my seat, he already had put all the back copies on my seat. I thought that was also really positive. I mean, again, remembering something about my habits is, is very good. There's a hundred things that I think SIA crew do um, that are well different from any other airline in the world. The coziness of the 744, and yet it's cozy without being... You're not cut off from the world. One of the benefits of, of being alive is that your good service starts at Changi and they put people at the door who recognise you. It's very welcoming again and uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, you feel at home. I think that's the key thing, right? You, you forget what you pay extra if you feel at home. Because, you know, I'm in the restaurant business, you're all in the service business. What are we selling? We're selling memories.